Hey, I'm the Castle on Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. Alright, so I'm heading into the RED Classic. This is Pro Cycling Manager 2017. I am in my first season in Pro Cyclist mode. I have a racer, uh, decathlon gamer, who is uh, set. Uh, to be a stage racer. I do have great potential, so eventually I can compete at the highest levels. I potentially win some grand tour He's trying to break races. Away. It's probably uh, but for a the meantime, I'm that. down in the continental division, uh, just doing the low level races. And at this point, I'm not even a team leader. I am often found working for my teammate Vetkov. And Vetkov is, uh, once again, the team leader for this race. Uh, it's late February, so it's been a little bit of time uh, since my last week race. It's been about three weeks, uh, and we are slowly starting to build our fitness uh, to reach peak Break status. Away. The pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. <laughs> All right. Well, my leader's instructions, Vekov, has told me, what's going on? You better get to the front, and now he wants me to reel in that breakaway, which I finally made my way to the front. So his, his uh, comment from a moment ago has disappeared, but we are on a short line. Uh, as this is a one-day race, there are no checkpoints. It is just a race for the end. Now, this is seen as a sprint competition, uh, but by profile, it's a bit punchy for that. So we are somewhere in between... Uh, a potential sprint finish and a finish by uh, a small group of riders uh, who are a bit more on the punchy side. So somewhere between a hill finish and a sprint finish. Uh, we're already using up a lot of our energy at the front of the field. Uh, so we are not going to be in much contention for that as our role There's today is to clock. work the for the seems team. To be working. The peloton has slowed right down. The uh, teammates of those in the breakaway are not going to make front. an effort. It's up to uh, the other teams to get their fingers five out. Five of those kilometers so far. And I'm using an awful lot of energy uh, here in the front and climbing that I'm already uh, losing a bit of that stamina. So I'm going to slow up a bit if I can and conserve conserve some of this energy the riders are in uh, a portion for as of the 10%. race goes on speed up a little bit as we are just wasting away uh, off the front on the day and this is not going to be very exciting we are halfway towards our objective uh, that's really the goal for the day is to keep the manager happy so that one day when i get strong enough as a writer they will give me the opportunity to lead the team and they'll work for me instead of the other way around speaking of that objective. I've already leveled up twice since the beginning of the season, even though we're only two months into our first year as a racer, uh, and I'm now up to an overall average rating of 68, which is still not strong by any means, but it's a lot stronger than a lot of the other riders out there. So if I weren't spending all my energy uh, trying to race on the front and catch up to the uh, breakaway group, then I actually could uh, be pretty competitive and compete for top tens in stage races at this point. Uh, but as Vetkov is still stronger than I am, uh, he is being favored over me, uh, which makes perfect sense. I'm that 19 year old kid trying to show his medal. All right, so uh, racing off of the front, even though I've used up a lot of energy thus far, uh, has done enough to shatter the breakaway group who has been split up and they keep breaking off one by one and we're already catching them. Uh, and we're just about halfway into the race. But my energy is pretty far gone. At some point here, I'm gonna have to uh, let go and Right, now I haven't seen the pop-ups on the being off the front, but I, I know that there's got to be.
Got to be getting pretty close to hitting that mark if not having hit it already. Uh, we're on a pretty steep climb here, but we're a strong enough climber that at just 61, uh, we're not burning up much of that energy. So we're pulling the field along. We've got a lot bigger field today than we had in uh, uh, our last stage race that we were following where there was only about 70 riders overall. Now uh, we've got well over 110 and it looks like we've dropped some riders off the back, but our whole team uh, is still here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and conserve some energy for a little bit and allow myself to recover, which is going well so far. Uh, our overall stamina for the day even though it is dipped lower than most of our teammates, uh, or all of our teammates, uh, we're hanging on decently there. We are 36K, and now they're telling me it's time to get back to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up. I have done most of the recovery necessary at this point, so I should be able to get back uh, towards the front here for that final push. We're heading towards that last big climb. actually still haven't made our way to the front, so the field's working pretty hard, uh, surprisingly, especially when we've already caught the breakaway. All right, we're up over the top of it. We've got a handful of climbs left to go, and now we are working near the front of the field. And we're gonna head into our last climb now with us on the front. And I want me to catch up, pay for it. Oh. There's nobody to catch. All right, I'm gonna slow things down. We are approaching the finish line. Uh, we are 7K, we are up over that final climb. There's still 108 riders in this group. I've got just a little bit of stamina left. With 5K to Five go. So if I can stay the near line. the front and not burn whatever energy I have left, which now I'm on the front, that will burn it. I might just be able to squeeze in a top 20 finish. Nope, oh, there it goes. My energy is gone. I'm told to stay tucked in, and I'm not gonna recover that energy here with just one and a half K to go. And there goes the mad burst for the final sprint. There we go, we'll push for whatever we have. I'll probably end up finishing outside of the top 30 or 40. Uh, Vetkov at least is in he for really a had to top fight for that one. five a finish, maybe? Sprint finish. Uh, yes, so our teammate was able to get fifth place, so our work uh, as a domestic has paid off. We were a little, spent a lot of time off the front today, the riders bringing up their rear have made it through sheer and we willpower. finished. This stage was a real strength zapper. Where did I come in at? 37th. So with our energy burned just before the end, uh, we were only able to manage a 37th place finish ourselves. Uh, but we did help our teammate to a fifth place finish uh, with our work off the front today. Manager should be pretty pleased. And one of these days it'll be our turn uh, to lead a race and have them work for us. And here are the key moments of the race. So Olegard ended up with the, the win on the day, uh, but fifth place on the day for the team, not bad. All right, so we spent 50K at the front, so exceptional evaluation, plus a teammate in fifth is very good. Uh, I was seen as having done an exceptional job on the day. Uh, but as we're already at 100%, uh, we just did what we were supposed to do. But we were able to gain 21 points in progression for our work efforts. And that's what's going to keep us moving along. If our role is to work, then we work. All right, so we have another race coming up uh, the next day, another one-day stage, or another one-day uh, race without any stages involved. So your finish is your finish. Uh, it looks like I do have an opportunity to change my schedule, but I don't plan to do any changes to the schedule this season. Uh, we will keep the schedule assigned us so you can see where we're at now. So we are at a 68 overall. Uh, the two racers on the whole team that are stronger than us now, so we're now the third best rider, are Vetkov and Sheldon. Uh, but most uh, 
both of these riders appear in most races as we go through the season. We have a very small team. We've been bringing uh, six riders in to each race uh, as a standard for our team, leaving five at home. And we're at least strong into the time trial now where we are up to second best, but again, it's Vetkov who is the best in the squad. And what do we have for today? Another potential sprint finish, but a little bit punchy. We've got a rolling hill uh, to get over seven times in this looping track. Um, we are slowly starting to approach our peak fitness as we are at 94% uh, on the overall fitness. And I would imagine that we're going to head into day once again uh, with the role of working. But it is possible that we will be given... Uh, a free ride in order to join the breakaway um, as we are the third best uh, rider going in it is possible you tend to get around the third or fourth best rider is given that role to join the breakaway and try to do something for those themselves hello and as welcome else gets that today's terrain is fairly level so it's ideal leader. ground for those who are good on the flat Riding in such heat is not easy. Many riders must have only one thing on their mind, getting this over with. All right, so we've been given the role of teammate once again, and in that role, uh, we are set to lead for 25K, and we're already being given that role of moving to the front and working there. So we head right to the front, we're going to speed things right up because this is going to be another quick day of just working for our teammate, job being lead the way. So the pace I'm running is actually hot enough that apparently nobody is heading off of the front. We've already led 7k straight off the bat and used up quite a bit of energy, so I'm going to slow up just a little bit. Even at 66 effort, we are strong enough to continue leading the way. We are halfway towards our goal. Slow up a little bit more, conserve some energy. I'm running more than fast enough. All right, so at 64, I seem to be in a small group of three or four riders uh, who are looking to lead the way. And I'll get my time in off the front, right? Like this, without having to burn too much energy. Uh, we've already hit 65% of our target at 64, so if I slow up a little bit more, we'll see if somebody actually wants to share the load. There I am, 100% target met very early in the race. We're only on our second time over this very small hill. Uh, looks like maybe 3% is all we have, so if it's rolling that gently, uh, this will definitely be a sprint finish, and our job is essentially done for the day. This next time as we approach that climb, I'll check to see if that 3% is in fact the steepest it gets, 3.9% there at one small section, as there's a little bit of a dip here, and here comes that gentle hill, keeping an eye on it, we're only at 1%, we're still under 2, now just above 2, 2.5%, 3, 4.5%, seems to be the max gradient that we're going to see on this hill. So that's not going to do too much damage to this field. So we should definitely see things just roll along smoothly uh, towards the finish. And I, at a simple 63, actually just continue to lead the way and not really waste any energy. So I'm going to go ahead and speed things up. This is going to be a simple race on the day. I'm not going to be in much of a contention for anything here. I'm not going to earn any points on the day. I'm just going to make my manager and team leader happy. All right, well, as we cruise towards the finish, uh, talking about real world cycling, uh, it has been in the news here recently. Uh, once again, if you actually follow any cycling news, if cycling is something you're into and not just sports game or sports management games, uh, a lot of people, at least in the United States, don't follow much more than the Tour de France itself, if anything. Uh, and from that, uh, 
one of the big highlights in the sport in recent years of the last really uh, decade or two has been the talk about performance enhancing drugs. Uh, everything keeps coming back to that. And it's been a rough spot. It's been a difficult subject, especially uh, in the United States where so much of our focus for the longest time uh, had been on Lance Armstrong. And speaking of Lance Armstrong, uh, it has come to the point where he not only was stricken from the record books, uh, and his uh, what was it, seven, right on the line. A uh, real show of power. seven uh, here the time winner, for but you. then having those removed. So as a result, people act like he doesn't even exist. Uh, now, in that conversation, uh, I don't think that he is somebody who doesn't exist. He worked really hard for what he achieved. But he cheated. All right, uh, so as a team, we were able to get second place today. Uh, I finished in the mid-20s. I led for 70. Um, so excellent performance once again. I pick up 24 progression points, and we're going to continue on towards our next race. In the meantime, I'll continue talking about this topic. Uh, Lance Armstrong cheated, and it was absolutely wrong, and he shouldn't have. Uh, but to act like he doesn't exist, is it, as as those across the pond would say it's utter bollocks uh, the guy did compete and the guy cheated uh, but here's the thing about that uh, to act like he was the only one cheating in the field is insane uh, at the time of Lance Armstrong's day uh, during his seven tour victories I can't say with absolute certainty that everyone was cheating, but all the documentaries, uh, I've watched quite a few of them, uh, the, the, the court cases, Lance Armstrong's cases, yes, he denied cheating for a long time, uh, and, and that was truly wrong. He had tested positive, he had been caught, and he should have admitted to it a lot sooner than he did. He waited a lot of years well after retirement to admit his wrongdoing. However, to suggest that he was the only one out there cheating, as they try to do it, they try to put it all on him, they tried to turn him into the scapegoat, and he's really had to fall into that role. Uh, realistically though, this sport was full of cheaters at the time, and most of the field, most of the professionals, most of the amateurs at the upper level in amateurs anyway, were cheating. Steroids was rampant, or the various, uh, the variations that they had in there. Uh, I mean, even recently with the Olympics, we've seen the, the effect that Russia had uh, when it came to cheating, and the effect that they're now taking and being banned uh, from their second successive uh, uh, major Olympics competition. So, che cheating's been a part of the, the sport of cycling for so many years. It was going on before Armstrong, as all of the successive winners before him were caught cheating as well, uh, as was he, and as were those who followed him, such as uh, Floyd Landis. Uh, and so there's been a long succession of scrutiny that has come under rider after rider after rider. And it's not just those winning, it's those competing in the field. What I would like to see, what I want to see going forward, uh, what I hope will happen in the sport, is that one day we can get a field that is totally clean, that are totally honest, so that they are competitive, so that they compete the right way, so that they do what they do in an attempt to keep the sport right. Now, that's going to take everybody to be clean, and that's not a given. Alright, uh, so looking at this next race coming up, for the very first time, I actually might be a team leader. Uh, we are heading into my very first competition that is truly for the climbers, and I'm not a strong climber yet, but I still might be. If we look at our mountains, yeah.
yes, I am our strongest rider, so it is possible that the team will actually ride for me for the first time this season as we head into this next race. Uh, while it's loading up, back on the topic. So, uh, just with cheating being such a prevalent part of the sport at the time uh, of Lance Armstrong and plenty of others after him, uh, our recent retiree, Alberto Contador, he was caught cheating as well. Uh, you know, he made up excuses, uh, but the sport loved Contador as he was uh, heading into retirement this year. He got more attention than any other rider, even that of Chris Froome, who was out there winning. And Chris Froome is another one who's recently come under scrutiny. Uh, he's been on asthma medication his whole life, uh, ever since he was a kid. and and tested high during the Vuelta España uh, just for his asthma medication, which he can take, but he did test high for that. So whether that's going to affect his Hello legacy or not, I don't all. know. The strongest uh, teams will certainly take hold of the race after as soon as the road rider starts to rise so as to help their climbers. Limits and done more than what technically is allowed of them. So it looks like today I am set to join the breakaway and push for a top 50 standings. But they want me in the breakaway to try to do that. So I guess that's where I better head is I will not be pushing for a victory at the end, but pushing for a victory from the breakaway. So that's my objective for the day. Anyway, uh, to wrap up our to topic, as today we'll be focusing a lot more on the race itself, um, is... I, th I feel that the sport itself was tainted by cheating and the cheating was not one individual or two individuals it was a lot of individuals and it is what it was that was just the nature of the beast at the time uh, and that's really the stance I've taken on uh, the American sport of Major League Baseball uh, which got a lot of attention for it oh, at the same boy, time oh boy, they're attacking um, a long way from home. it is what it is and it's what people were up to at the time it was available. It's what it took to compete at the highest level. It's what it took to compete with those who were beside you who were doing the same thing. So that's the case. So now what we're looking at is a sport that hopefully will get clean, a sport that will hopefully uh, be that way in the future, that it doesn't come to that, that we can do it, that we can just do it with the natural uh, abilities of athletes and not come with uh, the other side of things but as long as there is sport uh, people are going to work hard people are going to do what they can to get an advantage over others uh, and that's just the nature of things so hopefully the sport itself does not continue to lose uh, viewers that people will respect the sport going forward that they can complete, can compete. There's not honestly. more than a minute between them. The pack is increasing right. its work well, rate. Well, I made it into the breakaway. The breakaway. It is just a three-man breakaway. So if they give us the chance to get away, if we are able to get ahead, I like my chances on today's race of at least finishing up near the top. Because guaranteed, with a mountain climber stage like this, there is no way whatsoever that. A field the is going to finish with those 118 riders behind us chasing us down. Uh, we will be split up. This is a good chance for me to uh, perform well. I'm a zero on the day, but my mountain climbing at least is a plus one. My stamina is a plus one. So with that, I might have a decent performance on the day. I'm just a 70, but it is a continental race as far as I know. I don't know... Uh, what strong rider might be uh, in the field. I can actually take a look to see who's out there. Um, in terms of teams, uh, the Uskade team uh, used to be a really strong team, but they're not these days. Uh, Lotto Jumble's a strong team, but this is their U23 team. Uh, Radio Radio Popular uh, is a, one of the more competitive teams. Uh, I've never heard of Monkey Town, uh, but that's a really awesome name. 
<laughs> so looking at the field, there's no teams that stand out, and you can't look through every rider, but I think there's a pretty decent chance that uh, we could have a decent day. They've allowed us to get up to almost two and a half minutes now. I don't want to burn too much energy getting ahead, and I definitely need these two riders to work with That's me for more as than long two as possible. Separating them. There's a sustained uh, I guess I rhythm should take a look Some at the head-to-head -head of to what they up. offer. So Van Reiten, uh, he's just a 60 climber. So he's probably not going to be too hard to beat. And our is a strong sprinter, so if it does come down to a sprint at the end, we're in trouble. However, uh, he's only a 62 as a climber. Uh, what about downhill? How is he? 71 downhill, so he is strong downhill. Uh, and Ben Wrighton's about the same as I am. Uh, but I'm definitely a stronger climber than both of these two individuals, and there's a pretty big, steep climb not too far from the finish. So, in a perfect world, I would love for the field to let us get four, five, six minutes ahead, and we hit the base of that climb together, and I ride away from these two. The pack is beginning to and, cut the lead. A rider has on. fallen, and he's not now, getting back up. That's a pretty big fall. It looks like he'll have is. to abandon Sounds the race. Like somebody's going to have to just can't the keep up. That's there are one gaps way that beginning can, uh, to appear at the rear. A fall has just happened in the peloton. Several uh, riders are on the ground. One way that pretty strong out there. So I went ahead and recovered some energy there. But not a lot. That's one of the things. This climb is feared by many riders. The uh, percentages are very high. We're hearing over the radio that a rider has given up. Okay, so Kenyatta uh, has withdrawn from the race. Only one rider. Uh, but the field is actually still split, so that back group's going to have to spend some energy catching up, and that gives us a chance to hopefully. Uh, increase this lead a little bit. We are up to three minutes at this point ahead of the group as we head into uh, kind of the the next largest set of climbs of the day. If we can come out of this four minutes ahead, the breakaway is not to I everybody's really liking. Like the peloton has significantly increased its speed. Day, but to keep these riders with me, I've got to keep it slow, which means we're not going to be able to get ahead very well. Speed things up a little bit. I'm definitely going to be the one that has to lead the way, and I'm going to kind of go for this max. Keep this tempo going. There we go. These guys are ready to speed up a bit. I like it. And they're actually even taking the lead, so it's good to see that they're burning some of their energy in our effort to. They're moving along in a the field. Lick. But the You've field just itself hang on. sped up a lot. That's going to start splitting them up fairly early. This could actually really spread this field out. We're hitting a steeper section here now, so the other guys are really slowing up. I'd like to stay strong here. If we have a chance to win today, it's definitely coming from the breakaway. Puncture! The rider will have to burn All some right. energy to get back into the pack. So Some team managers must appreciate up over the fact that, climb, that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. Our break is speed. very short, but I actually recovered pretty quick there. Now the guys up front are asking serious now questions of the riders in the rear, as more of them are left in the wake. Heading to our last big climb before we hit that end section. Not much climbing after this one until we reach the end of the race where we have those two big climbs and a little additional climb. So there's some time to recover in there. If you can get over the top of uh, this tall peak, if we can get over the top of this in front, I really like our chances because we can recover, climb, the breakaway has now and got recover, over a minute on the pack. and then go into that a final climb. There's no sprint up as in pace there anywhere. For the pack. They obviously don't the have anybody in the breakaway the group. It's in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. All right, we lost the other rider, which is not good. Uh, we quickly put over a minute onto him. Uh, in terms of the breakaway objective, I just reached the, the quarter mark on that, so we're going to have to be forward quite a while. So we lost the third rider. The lead over the so pack is dwindling. The pace is really hot, and so ahead. for the moment, we shouldn't see too many attacks. But 
the peloton is shattered. Uh, there are only, t what, 36 riders it looks like who are in the chase and two minutes back on us uh, as they are approaching the top right now. Uh, or they are over the top at this point. And the back of the field is getting over the top now. So the field is split already. Uh, pretty big gap. Some of them are closing back down and joining that main group on that downhill, but they're up and over that downhill now as they should be climbing once again. So it looks like it'll hold at 62 unless that group of six does catch them. Uh, we only have one rider That's left the race in that done. group, so I'm there not going to have support from now on if we do get caught. The lead um, rider is now more than two minutes ahead uh, of the peloton. The going to come down to, to like this The peloton point. has significantly increased its speed. Uh, racing a little stronger than our other guy can go but he's working hard to at least stay in contention so that's good we are three minutes ahead which is beautiful uh, this long downhill section uh, should keep us fairly fresh i need water there we go uh, and that should be enough water to get us to the end uh, we hit 75 percent of our objectives so we're gonna have a happy manager i know that much but a couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers pace for the pack. Here. They We've obviously recovered. don't have so anybody we're, in the breakaway We're looking group. real strong. If we're ahead, when we hit that climb, we've got a chance. I don't want to burn up all my energy, but I want to keep up the pace, even if he can't stay with me. I don't mind leaving this guy even now. With every turn Looks of the like pedal. he's tired and can't stay with me. He can't keep up the pace at all. All right, we've made our objective the for the, the day, race. so that's we'll fantastic. Soon know the final outcome. I want to keep the distance down, to the field behind us. See, they, looks like Let's they're starting to split, the rest of his realizing a fall that just took the three place minutes in the that I have Several riders are on the might just be enough. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. And at 77, while this is slowly coming down, it's not coming down rapid keeping this up so I'm liking this 77 I am gonna keep pushing it even if I don't have help hours just kind of hanging on uh, just barely hanging on to the back but the fact that he's able to lead the way at he's all just pulled gives up on us the that verge. little bit of a breather and we are way stronger than him for the climb so I'm really not worried about keeping widening. him it's now over two minutes. on the back the pack here is increasing I'm its just work worried about Some not, teams can't be not happy with wasting the all of our energy and keeping enough of a gap to the field, which is down to two and a half minutes, but they've already dropped a big chunk of their group. Now it's down to 50 riders uh, in that chasing group. Got a chance today here for the win. I'm using up a little too much energy right now, though. I've got to be able to get that climb the lead is being cut. They with a really little bit of energy the as I hit the top. Strung out too far, or it's going to start breaking up. So I'm going to hit this climb and go at whatever pace I can handle without burning all of this energy off early on in the climb. And we head to the base. Okay. I'm going to slow the it down. Are going I need to very tough portion with I'm not even worried about 10 this guy anymore. I'm running at my pace from now to the top of the climb. The pace he'll stay seems with me as long as he can. Alright, we're down to a minute 45 on the lead. They continue to gain. This seems to be about all I can do pace-wise. I'm going to push it back to speed 2. I know he can't keep up with me on the long term. I, there will be a gap here at some point. Ooh, we're up to the gravel section, so we're not even onto a regular road, and I've lost the chasing rider. But at the same time, I am down a bit, but I'm halfway up the climb. I've still got a little bit of stamina left. I don't want to burn that. I would like to get to the top just with that little bit, but it looks like I am going to burn it off, so I might be losing my gap here pretty quick. I'm down to a minute and a half. Okay, I'm going to go to 99 and push as hard as I can to the top of this hill and hope that I can recover on the there way down. There are just down. 15 kilometers left. So, pushing as hard as I can. My whole team is gone. They're far from the peloton. So it's just me and the peloton now. Okay, I'm over the top. I gotta slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, what can we do? I need to recover. I am recovering. That's good. All right. I'm gonna go as fast as I can while still recovering. This climb features some dreadful And I'm up to the next climb. 
Slow down, slow down. Okay. So. I don't have a lot of stamina, so I know it's not going to hold. I'm probably going to end up getting caught, but... And there it goes. All right. I'm able to recover. There's a little false downhill there. If I can hold it 70. No, not happening. All right. So I need to just push 99. There's now just 10 hard kilometers as fast left. as I can. There's only 15 riders chasing me now. And my climbing itself, even without the stamina, is okay. I can climb decently even without the stamina. And I'm actually able to push out the lead to two minutes here. But without being able to maintain it, look how fast they're gaining on me. I mean, they gained 15 seconds there real fast. Watch out. There's team another 10 seconds, behind. another 15 seconds. So the lead is shrinking. But if I can get over this climb, still with a lead of some kind, here's another false flat. Quick recovery. 36 seconds. Now they're going to catch me. But I should be able to finish the day with a top 20 finish. I'm almost, almost to the top of the climb. 40 seconds ahead. I still have a slight chance. Nope, I'm caught. Almost to the top. So close. I can recover on the way down and maybe finish with the group. But I just won't have enough to, to finish strong. There we go. All right. So I'm going to try to recover here. Just another quick, a lot of ups and downs, but we're going to have mostly downhill here. So it looks like I'm in the group of the 11. I will the recover, last five of but the that stage. last little punch at the end will mean I'll, I'll probably finish at the back of the group or near the back of the group. But I might be able to squeeze out a top 10 on the day, um, and that'll be a pretty good performance. I might be able to get a small amount of super prestige points. And this is all happening from the breakaway, so I'm obviously going to be a lot more tired than these guys. Uh, all right, we have just over 1k to the go to go, and I'm hitting this climb. I need to be prepared to push. I'm going to use my energy gel. All right, and I got to watch for when they go. I'm just going to try to hang on. I'm not going to run away from this group by any means. And there goes the mad burst for the final sprint. The riders go. are going through a very tough portion with percentages above 10%. Here they go. They're pushing. I can't keep up. But I've still got a little energy. I might be able to beat a couple guys. Maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to time it right here. I'm going to be at the back of the group. I'll be lucky to get he 10. He snatched victory in that mass sprint finish. He can thank his teammates who let him out in perfect conditions. Whatever stamina I have left is about to disappear. The tail are Ninth still place. All right. In. Well, hey, I squeezed in a, a hard fought top 10 position. That's a good performance. I'm not yet a strong climber. I mean, even with the plus one on the condition today, I was only a 70. Now, give me a season or two, and I should be up around 80, and should be able to win this kind of race. Uh, but then again, by that point, I'll be in a higher division. Uh, next year, I should be in the mid-70s, and that should have me winning this kind of race that's continental. But for now, top 10 performance, uh, getting out front most of the day. I'm going to have a happy manager. I might grab a super prestige point or two uh, from this top 10 finish. We'll see afterwards. I don't know uh, what kind of level this one is, but top 10 is good. So I'll take it. All right, well, that does it for this episode. I am Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe. And tune in next time on my Road to the Record.